Four victims of that plane crash in El Cajon have now been identified. The two pilots and two nurses worked for an air ambulance company. News 8's Danny Marie McNichol is live near the scene of Monday's crash with how they're being remembered. Hi, Danny Marie. Hi, Evan. Well, friends and family tell us that they were compassionate. They loved their job. They were good at their job. Best of the best. We did hear from um, some of those friends and family and also we're seeing a memorial forming right behind me with beautiful flowers. It also looks like family members of the victims placed photos and mes messages in remembrance of them. Very conscientious and with her patients, um, took very good care of people, was get along with everybody, always smiling um, and respectful. Now, those are words for Nurse Tina Ward. Uh, she is just one of those four people, the crew, seen here in a selfie that was taken just hours before the plane went down. Another fellow nurse, Lori Gentz, in that photo is behind her, and the two males on board, Julian Bagage and Douglas Grande. Now, they were returning from a flight taking a medical patient to Orange County. Tina's husband, a retired Oceanside Fire Chief, Joe Ward, sent us photos of his family, calling his wife, Tina the glue that held their family together. She loved her job so much, he says, and their daughters are following in her footsteps, two becoming nurses and a third a doctor. Lori is being remembered as a really intelligent woman. She set the bar high and expected others to do the same. She recently had hand surgery and could not wait to get back to work. We all we are still learning more about the two men on board, 67 year old Julian Bagage and 45 year old Douglas Grande. What I do see from this memorial today is Douglas is family did send uh, and, and put a photo out here. It looks like he has two beautiful daughters um, and so that is here in remembrance of him. Now the Aero Medivac, the company that the four work for, did post in a statement on social media saying that the loss of our friends has left an indescribable void. Uh, the both of us and their families are to them. They are unsung heroes dedicating their lives to caring for others here in our community. Of course, they will be incredibly missed. Um, one thing to note here is that the road is open in El Cajon, that the crash site around this area, but we are talking to crews here just arriving on scene, telling me that AT&T and SC and G&E are here. They say houses across the street from me right now are actually out of power, so they're going to be doing some work around this area to make sure that power is restored. They will be eliminating some of the lanes here, so traffic will be moving a little bit slower coming around the 7 and 8 o'clock hour and into the afternoon as they continue to make their updates. Now, in terms of the investigation, officials do tell us that it could be months before they really get details of exactly what happened here in El Cajon.